And we are back. Come on to join Leoniko up on Amudi and Gidibo. And wakati tuko katika that short break, kuna something very interesting. Gidibo umesema kusu nani similarities za Zion na mchezaji ya lukuwa na chiza wa Tanzania. Yes. Emu ambi wa Tanzania? Sisi vijana pale tuikuwa na mtu wanaituwa Abdala Ramadhan, Dula Marufu. Mara nyingi saa ukita place, Dula likuwa ya ni either anapotea o anaona tu. It's part of the team play, lakini si kitu ambacho kina my excite. Lakini game inapozidi kuwa ngumu you just need to give him the ball atafunga tu and then to rule the defense so sio kila mchezaji atafit in kwenye kwenye ile box ya team structures ya kuita plays na nini kuna mchezaji mwingine ni an outside of the box player like naambia labda defensively stop this guy and they take care of that or just give us two baskets anafanya hivyo amemaliza so si si kila role mchezaji mwingine anaweza kuwa ni role player wa kitu fulani specific but so it doesn't mean kwamba kutokuwa na kitu kile ni kwamba hana skill. Very true. Alafu M naomba watanzania wale kwa Judula ameenda kushinda ma MVP wapi na wapi na wapi? Alicheza Seychelles, amekuwa MVP several times. Recently alikuwa anacheza ligi ya Uganda, amekuwa MVP. Sina sina uhakika na numbers but ameshakuwa MVP zaidi ya mara mbili mara tatu. Kwa dude ameenda kushinda vitu vya ajabu. Proven everything beyond the game here and like ni ile kwa plays za vijana zinamchanganya. <laughs> Sio mchezaji wa plays to be honest like and I thrive go. outside of the play. There you go. Ninakwambia yeah. hapa kwa hiyo Gilbert Arenas and I hate to to add. Hate speech. Okay. Kwa hiyo sasa hivi tunakimbia katika timu yetu ya taifa ya Wazalendo wameenda kule uh, Kigali. Well actually kwa sio Kigali. Butare, Butare, Butare na shindo ku pronounce vizuri kwa namba nisaidie. Uh, wamecheza na ni kwa Rwanda day 1 walicheza against Sudan wakashinda 16 to 2 wakacheza na Uganda na nyewe wakashinda 16 to 11 lakini wakapigwa kichapu cha asubuhi 21 kwa 2 na Egypt alafu wakacheza na Uganda tena kujaribu ku, ku, kuchukua na nini nafasi ya tatu wakafungwa na Uganda ambao walifunga mwanzoni 16 to 11 kwa hiyo ndio matokeo ya timu yetu ya taifa ya under 18 wanaume ya 3 on 3 um, anything you got to say katika hiyo no, no kwa sasa hivi naona at least it's an improvement kwa tumeanza kushiriki kitu tofauti kidogo especially kwa age groups za vijana wa chini ya miaka 18 kama itatokea pia ingetokea favor tena kama hii na kwa upande wa dada zetu au wadogo zetu wa kike pia ingesaidia kwa develop na kuliko to base tu upande mmoja lakini kwa matokeo haya pia sio mbaya wasife moyo wajitahidi there's always next time wazi jua next time na sisi tunataka kuwapiga Egypt kichapo iko iko alichotupiga sisi or maybe not but anyways there's always the next time kwa kwa sasa hivi this is a very good step in the right direction na wewe gidibo mimi naungana na na mo hapa kweli it's a big improvement uh, atakuwa hapa nadhani 2 years ago 3 years ago atakuwa hapa ata kushiriki it's a big step <coughs> na ongera coach labda ulikuwa unatutafuta tukusifie kimya kimya <laughs> eh, afu utatulipa baadaye <laughs> but yeah um, ukiangalia 3 on 3 like a year back or 2 years ago kwanza ilikuwa ni mpya kabisa hmm. na kumbuka game zetu za kwanza zote sisi tulifungwaga zote watu walikuwa na shangaa tu matana nini hmm to move from there to even winning a game it's a big step. Na pia kuwa comfortable playing those games. I think um, when you look sikwenda kwenye hizi games na sijaziona zote. Ukiangalia hizi results tu. Um, Egypt mimi nasemaga siku zote uh, walikosewa kuwa kwenye hizo zone yetu. Mm-hmm. Hata kwenye senior teams wanatusumbuaga sana. Na kwa sababu wana programs na, za muda mrefu kishenzi. So sisi ambao tuna programs zetu za siku mbili siku tatu inakuwa ngumu sana ku compete now at the same level. Mm-hmm. Uh, upande mwingine ukiangalia mfano hii game ya mshindi wa tatu ambao tumepoteza kwenye kwa Uganda ambayo tulishawafunga kwenye preliminaries it shows you the level, level of maturity ya team set kwa timu ambayo umeshaifunga kwa preliminary ukaja ukapoteza inaonyesha kwanza kwa sababu tumepoteza kwa Egypt kwa big margin obviously momentum ya timu ilikuwa imeshashuka attitude imeshapotea inawezekana walishapoteana ndani ya uh, game yao eventually ime lead kwenda kupoteza possibility ya kucheza mshindi wa tatu na timu ambayo walikuwa washaweza kuifunga so i think we have a long way to go bado bado tuna vitu vingi sana nadhani tumefanya tume some investment kwenye timu zetu ndogo 
baada um, tusilewe na sifa bado tuko mbali sana ukikompare na hizi timu zingine tunazocheza nazo wow uh, napenda kwa hiyo analysis bwana pretty spot on mimi ningependa tu kuwafanyia correction mbili number 1 nasema napenda kupongeza tipo fika sahihi in actuality last year katika zone 5 sisi tulishinda kuweza kufika Afcon katika under 18 so last year tuliwashinda Uganda ah oh, under 18 wazalendo waliofunga Uganda na alifunga Tanzania the only team iliyoweza kutushinda last year ilikuwa ni Kenya na Kenya ya participate hapo. So sisi tulifungwa na Kenya kwa hiyo Kenya na Wazalendo ndo walienda walichaguliwa kucheza kwa Afcon. Lakini dakika mwisho tukashindwa kwa kuna matatizo ya nani ya passport kwa wachezaji tena again matatizo yetu yale yale ya kijinga jinga ambayo sasa hivi tumeweza kujiandaa zaidi. Ilikuwa vile lakini katika the game na skills ni kwamba definitely to now uwezo to now. Now <coughs> E team. Yes, mimi ni kocha wao. Na ielewa E team na waelewa wachezaji hao. I believe E team tungeweza kushinda. I believe tungeweza kushinda. Najua tunasema na siongee hivi hapo kwa sababu tu mimi ni kocha pale. Najua Phineas alienda kule. Kwanza Phineas, congratulations kwa Phineas. Phineas, I think atakuwa one of the greats hapa Tanzania. Akimaliza naye atakuwa one of the greats kwa coaches. Kwa sababu in terms of kuongelea coaches, he's really a good nani um coach anaanza lakini he's a student of the game na he's definitely going to get there yeye ndo alikuwa na vijana alienda baka kule lakini hii team ilipata matatizo mpaka kuna kule and i think haya matatizo yamewa ya yali affect hii team vibaya sana ndio maana the performance yao imekuwa mbaya kwangu mimi performance ilikuwa ni mbaya i know for a fact team yetu inaweza kuna mbali zaidi ah tatizo letu kubwa lilioenda Uh, mimi unajua sijuagi kuweka gani nachukua mdomo wangu naweka katika yangu kila kitu natoka tatizo letu namba moja ni rais wetu wa basketball Faris Magesa aliingilia program kuna kitu umesema nikasema kitu kizuri sana program ya kwetu tumefungwa tulivyokuja kucheza na Uganda again kwa sababu program yetu haijafanya mazoezi kwa muda mrefu tumefungwa na Egypt kwa sababu program yao in a run for a long period of time Wazalendo is the same thing Wazalendo they work out throughout the whole year right. this is a team inakuja na build core team kwa hiyo na sisi program yetu bado ni fupi imeanza juzi lakini they've been together for a long period of time ila katika under 18 kuna wale waliofanya last year wameondoka kwa hiyo hapa it's a new core iliyoingia kuna wengine hawajaweza kucheza nao for for a long period of time bado tuko tunaoingiza na walikuwa wanaingia katika hiyo program lakini katika maandalizi just before team yote imejel zikaja siasa zikaingia kuwachukua watoto kuwapeleka sijui kambi wakaacha kocha wao mimi ambao ni kocha mwingine mimi niko Dar es Salaam team imebeba huko na kambi mimi wala sielewi mimi nilikuwa niko hapa napiga bla na nasikia matokeo tu kwenye tv kwenye bomba huko team inaendelea hivi easy ndio nakwambia Atuwezi tukafanya iko kitu ulichosema program za siku mbili siku tatu unachukua timu unapeleka kambi kwa siku mbili wanaenda kufanya nini kwenye kambi siku mbili hapo ndio ilitokea matatizo mara kocha anawaambia wanatokea kufanya mazoezi hapa rais anaingilia anachukua timu anapeleka katika kambi sehemu nyingine watoto wanakuwa confused hawajui kufanya wamfate kocha wao wamfate rais wanapata threats kutokea kila sehemu ndio maana tunapata matokeo kama haya tusiingize siasa katika michezo yetu sielewi rais wetu anafanya nini katika basketball i think rais afanye mambo ya rais ambao anapenda kupiga picha lakini kama jaenda kupiga picha ingekuwa vizuri ajue program zinaenda vipi i'm not gonna hold my tongue sijui kuna kitu gani cha kuongezea <coughs> kuna uh mental base kidogo kwenye philosophical side there's this uh, quote I don't remember who said it. You know, Sema, imagine what the world would be like if no one took credit. Wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you not not it's just a kibaya. It's one thing to do this kwa team. It's a yeah. whole different issue kufanya hivi kwa watoto. Kwa sababu wale watoto wakimwangalia Karabani who's always been good with them and acheka nao afa kaja mtu akakwambia wewe toka hapa nenda kambini. 
kakunja sura with authority. with authority mtu kwanza mindset yake ni kwamba ninayo anayeniongelesha ni mtu wa kaliba fulani no. kwa hiyo hivi vitu kama hizi programs na programs nyingine nyingi za basketball ambazo zinaanzaga na kupotea kwa sababu ya mambo kama haya tusitaki kusema tu ni siasa lakini ngoja mimi niseme tu kuwa watu kutaka credit for the work that they haven't put in ishi ndio kinachoturudisha nyuma sio kwenye basketball tu bali hata kwenye nyanja nyingine za michezo hapa nchini and that is why sisi hapa hatuwezi ku progress kwa sababu hatuchukuli michezo hatuipi michezo kipaumbele lakini tunataka tuki progress hey we did it tuki fail yeah it was carabani still <laughs> non ko waliondoka kwa, shang, kwa shangwe na shamra shamra lakini wamerudi kimya kimya so we would like for there to be consistency kama tunataka tuendelee tuweke pamoja msimamo tunataka tu elevate taifa kufikia level fulani ili tuweze kupata matokeo fulani hatusemi tushinde kila mato, kila mashindano lakini tunataka at least tuseme oh there's this happening lakini kitu kama hiki sasa hivi kikija especially kuwa aired in the public kama hivi hata wazazi wanaanza kusema sasa mwanangu akienda huko je usalama wake ukoje naongea na karabani au naongea na rais kuhusu kujua hali ya mwanangu nafanya yani it's confusing to be honest and i'm not even a parent I'm not, and i'm already confused the gilivo kuna naje ustaribia wazazi watu wakaacha kutuletea watoto and i said but honestly i think um mimi naomba nianze mbali kidogo um mimi na mimi tuna a general issue ya ya administration na uelewa pia wa uongozi way from the club level in this country na ndio maana hivi tunavyokuja kuviona huku it's the effect of the problem matatizo makubwa ya club zetu ndio yanakuja kuonekana kwenye regional na kwenye national level <coughs> mind you kitu kinacho organize na govern like regional association ni viongozi ambao wanatoka kwenye clubs and then wale wana viongozi wa, wa regionals combined wanaenda ku govern um, um, national association uh, nadhani kuna issues za uh, kuna gaps kwenye uelewa kuna gaps kwenye ku professionalize michezo kuna gaps kwenye um, how do you build a program ambayo inatengeneza skills na kufanya kazi na hao watoto watu wengi wamezoea kufanya kazi na, na senior teams um, e concept ya kucheza na, na ku train teams za watoto wadogo ni mpya sana kwetu it's very recent na ndio maana hata sisi nitakuwa bias kidogo nitatumia muda wako ku advertise sisi kwenye YDP tulidefine tuli kabisa si kila mtu atakuwa coach wa YDP we'll pick kwa sababu tunafanya kazi na watoto wa watu na mtoto wa mtu akija kwenye program yetu maana yake we mzazi wake ame trust us to be replica wa kile uh, zile values zao za nyumbani. Kwa wakati ule tunapokuwa na yule mtoto ina maana tuna represent familia yake na mawazo ya familia wazazi wake. So tunataka pia tuwe na makocha ambao wata replace that. Atakapo deal na yule mwanafunzi sio kocha amtreat yule kama mtu, mchezaji wa senior team. Akamwambia kipia wewe akatumia lugha kali Ah total at this level most of them they're just building interest au pende kwanza mchezo akisha upenda then atakuja kesho yake So ile the, the same way we train senior teams is not the same way you train level hizi za watoto So that's one of the areas ambazo nadhani kwa muda mrefu watu wengi hatuzielewi We're navigating those spaces assuming kwamba kwa sababu tu karabani amecheza basi karabani automatically anajua mm. People don't know Honestly people don't know A lot of these people ambao wanafanya hivi vitu ukiongea nao wao they stand from a point where anajiona kwamba yuko sawa wewe ndio umekosea kitu cha pili um, in general nadhani tunataka tunatakiwa tujifunze pia ku unapompa mtu kitu kufanya hata kwenye club level kama umempa coach kuna conversations wao unazijua nyingi za kuongelea national team patikanaje sijui hao watoto mmechukua tu watoto washikaji zenu wanatoka tu da wote yo there's no democracy in choosing teams sports is not about democracy mimi nikiambiwa leo ni chague timu ya Tanzania. Sawa, criteria moja tu ambayo iko democratic ni lazima uwe mtanzania. Right. Lakini it does not matter unatoka mkoa gani. Tutawaweka wachezaji hapa wote, show us your skill. Kama skill inatoka Morogoro yote, timu yote itatoka Morogoro. Kama skill inatoka Mbeya, timu yote itatoka Mbeya. Lakini unakuta saa zingine wanaofanya hizo arguments ni coaches na wana lead teams kocha ambaye yuko qualified mimi natamani sana siku zingine uage kwenye zile forums na shindwa kuongea sababu naona ni ni arguments ambazo zinakuwa zina basis 
kocha yoyote muulize yeye timu yake inatoka wapi hata kwenye timu yake club yake anachagua watoto based on skill au anaenda kwenye familia moja moja anauliza nyie hapa familia yenu ina mchezaji kwa kuwa amna leta mmoja that's democracy <laughs> right, right. lakini otherwise we pick by performance kama wacheza wachezaji wameonekana na perform vizuri au ndio utakaochukua right. same thing kwenye leadership we need to be accountable na kama nimekupa brother hapa fanya kazi hii i need to step back this is the one thing we've never learned to do we've experienced some of that stuff in our program as well people don't know how to step back and let people do their job especially when it becomes technical so coaching coaching a team is not siko sababu tu nimecheza au na experience ya uchezaji basi i'm automatically a coach same thing sio kwa sababu mimi nimecheza na experience ya kujua basketball then i'm automatically kiongozi mzuri we make those assumptions and they are all wrong so many times we run into these hurdles kwa sababu tuna tunachagua kwa kwa zile default definitions za kiongozi ni mtu aina hii matokeo yake baadaye tunaanza kukutana na hizi hurdles but we 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 failed at the foundation level easy clubs zetu ziki stand up tukatengeneza tuka professionalize the sport unajua team manager mfano team manager sio lazima ucheze mchezo right because you're running it like a business it's a business right. straight up it's a business the same way tunalamika tuna sponsorship we're, we're trying to make it an emotional decision it's it's not sponsorship it's... is a business decision i already ndo watu nakuwa vile kuna kitu kimoja umesema hapo na niliongea na jio kuna wengine waliona katika nani social media nilikuwa naongea kule responsibility na accountability. Unajua mm-hmm. kitu kilichotokea pale. Najua kama rais he feels you could responsible na basketball mm-hmm. Tanzania nzima. And yes, he is responsible yeah. kwa Tanzania nzima. Lakini kazi walionipa mimi nifanye mm-hmm. katika 3 on 3, I am accountable. Yeah. Na mimi ni responsible but I am accountable because kitu kinachotokea baada ya muda wataniita mimi nikae pale mbele yao na naambia nimefanya nini sasa katika matokeo yaliyotokea katika hii kwenda huko na nini Rwanda mimi nitasema nini am i accountable for that yeah hii ndio tatizo mtu you feel responsible lakini i understand roles yeah. roles ikienda pale unajua accountability easy easy accountability na responsibility kama nilivyosema ni vitu ambavyo vinaingiliana lakini the difference ni kwamba accountability responsibility inaweza kuwa shared Yep. Na ndio maana yeye, mimi, wewe, wote sisi stakeholders tuko responsible na game ya basketball Tanzania. Tuna share responsibility. Yep. Yep. Kila mmoja na part. Accountability haiwezi kuwa yep. share. <laughs> Ile ndio wewe umepewa role, mimi role yangu ni liki duda likiamka. <laughs> ni mimi nimeamsha duda. Ni mimi mimi ndio nitajibu pale. Mimi nimekaa pale na bidi napiga maswali ni mimi. Siwezi nikasema ah lakini unajua ilikuwa fulani. No. Tulikupa wewe. Wewe ulifanya yeah. nini kuhusu hiko kilichotokea? So it falls kwangu mimi. Yeah. Ndio maana vaongea namna hii hapa. We yani we really need to understand roles. Zinaendaje? Na tusio confuse na kuwa responsible na hivi kama hivi hapo. Yeah. That's all mimi nasema katika hiki. Jaribu kutafuta neno la Kiswahili hayo maneno mawili accountability na responsibility kwamba tuna gap pia ya uelewa em niambia wewe unajua em unaweza kunekea kamusi katika hiyo nadhani tuna kama dakika moja pale amna kwa hiyo ni kamusi hapo accountability amna accountability accountability ni nini kwa kiswahili uwajibikaji uwajibikaji na responsibility ni nini jukumu jukumu ni um, is it ni jukumu lako kama... ni jukumu letu wote hiyo eh, ni responsibility kukuza mchezo wa kikao hiyo eh, eh, yeah. ni responsibility Lakini kwa uwajibikaji wako wewe ndo that's what will come in question in the end kwa hiyo accountability <laughs> ni uwajibikaji yeah let's just go with that umeelewa mtanzania uwajibikaji <laughs> on that note tumefika mwisho wetu wa, wa uwajibikaji <laughs> <laughs> tumewajibika leo tumewajibika leo ngoja ngoja responsibility to share hii kitu kwa hiyo inaenda responsibility ni nini tena jukumu tumesema jukumu eh jukumu limekuwa la kwetu yes kwa kweli tumefanya ujukumu wetu poa leo jukumu jamani wa Tanzania i love mondays man i love being here jamani inabidi tuwakimbie jamani muda umefika Make sure you tune in the same time next week Monday Leila kuangalia kipindi chako unachopenda cha basketball hoops asante sana peace